All right, in today's sneak peek, we're gonna take a look at a free drawing app called DrawCast. DrawCast is a pretty simple app, very easy to use. And the coolest thing about it is I have explored a couple ways that you can take photographs from Google or photographs from your camera roll or other digital photographs that you have available to you and create some simple high contrast picture symbols. And these symbols you can then save to your iPad's camera roll and load them into various AAC programs uh, such as Proloquo to Go or Touch Chat. Um, you can print them out, you can create flashcards, any app or any program that you can use digital images, you can use these high contrast images instead to create um, some picture symbol sets that are a little more suited to your children's needs, those who have visual impairments, cortical visual impairments, cognitive impairments, and need that visual simplicity. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to do first is we're going to go up here to the backgrounds option on the top right and we're going to choose our picture that we want to create a symbol from. This gives you access to taking a picture. You can also import a picture from your camera roll already. So we're going to do that first. Go out to the camera roll and we're going to select the apple. And you can see it puts the apple in our background. And now we can trace it. You use the pencil tool on the bottom and you have a nice selection of different colors that you can use to create your images. You want to check with the vision specialist that's working with your child to uh, brainstorm about what colors, what thicknesses, what contrast levels are going to work best for, for the child that you have in mind. For today's demo, we're going to go ahead and use white. And I like really thick lines on my line drawing, so I'm going to use the pencil thickness right about there. And then you just use your finger or your stylus to go ahead and start tracing your photo. The nice thing about line drawings is they don't need to be perfect. So just make sure that when you're tracing, you don't get too specific about how perfect your drawing is. It really just needs to represent the idea of the object that you're trying to identify here. So once we line it up, we're going to go back to our background and we're going to change it to, in this case, a black background. You can also do a white one if you want to do black lines on white background. And you can see we have a pretty simple white apple on our screen. Now we can go out to this option and we can save it to our photo library and that means that we can access it to load it into any app that lets us use customized photos. Most of the AAC apps and flashcard apps are also going to let you type labels at the bottom. One of the unfortunate things about DrawCast is you cannot type a label at the bottom so if you did want this to have the word as well as the picture you would need to go in and draw it. like so. So now you have Apple. I don't think this is necessary. As I said, many of the apps have built-in uh, labeling tools already, but I have put a word into the DrawCast developers, and I hope that they will include some font and text options and updates that come in the future.